It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the nebula glitch effect in After Effects. Hope you guys liked the preview, let's get right into the tutorial here. And here I've added a clip of Icy Twat, probably not pronouncing that right but uh, I'm trying my best here. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to start off by adding an adjustment layer to this composition here. So press Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to be adding Radial Blur. Radial Blur. And here in Radial Blur, there's two different modes you can use. And to change the modes here, you can go to Type. And now it's Spin. I'm going to choose Zoom. So you get this kind of Zoom Blur here. I think it looks very cool. And I'm going to set that to 4. I would say 4 to 6 for this effect. Somewhere like there. If you add a little bit too much, in my opinion, it will look like too blurry. But uh, I think this is good. We can adjust later if you don't like it. After that, we're going to be adding glow. So I'm going to make a new adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. I'm going to drag this under the radial blur here. And here we're going to be adding the normal glow. And for the first glow here, I'm going to drag down the glow intensity to 0.4. And then you're going to be pressing Ctrl D to duplicate the glow here. And here for the second glow, I'm going to be increasing the glow radius to 250 just like that and then i'm going to be increasing the glow intensity to 0 0.6 i'm going to be adding one more glow to really get that final touch Control d again here increase the radius to 500 and then glow intensity to 8 already this looks pretty pretty cool in my opinion i'm going to change the blending mode here to screen so now it's going to get a little bit brighter here I'm gonna rename it to glow and then for the actual glitch effect I'm going to be using a effect from my color glitch pack and it's the 37th one if you guys have the pack and first when you add it you will get this crazy look here all effects doesn't work for every clip so you gotta play around a little bit with the effects see what works for the clip you're using but for this effect I'm going to change the blending mode to exclusion blending mode here exclusion and it's going to create this look here it's gonna have this kind of nebula uh, look here these uh, space gas clouds here kind of star looking almost a galaxy effect here and uh, I think it looks very cool and um, it's also going to be glitching at the same time now to make the colors a little bit more interesting I'm going to be adding invert to the original clip layer and here I'm going to be changing the channel to hue and now the nebula look will get very strong but I'm going to decrease the strongness here by increasing the percentage in blend with original to 50% and bam you will get this cool looking nebula glitch effect hope my webcam doesn't lag now but this is the final look here I think it looks absolutely amazing and if you guys also like this nebula glitch effect you guys can check out our color glitch pack you can get a $5 discount by using the discount code Pelle and if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, check out our website with amazing editing packs. And I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.